In this video segment, we will cover the tools you can use to create a closet storage design. This closet rendering and drawing include all the accessories you can find in the Chief Architect catalog, in addition to the shelving, partition, and cabinet tools. Let's get started to create the back wall for this closet design, beginning with the full height cabinet. Underneath the cabinet tools is a full height cabinet. When I click and place the full height cabinet, it's going to be using the default settings that I've already established for this sample plan and that's why the cabinet is configured this way. As I double click and open up this cabinet, on the general panel I'm going to go ahead and set the width of this cabinet to be 42 inches, the height at 114, and the depth of the cabinet I'll leave it at 24 inches. To configure the face items I'll click on the upper face item. You can see that it's an auto left door. I'm going to come in, I'm going to change the height of that to be 24 inches. On the bottom face item, I'm going to go ahead and split that horizontally. I'm going to take the center face item that is currently highlighted. I'm going to change that to an opening and then I'm going to set the item height at 57 inches. For the opening, you can see the default shelving. I'm going to come down on the shelves and click the specify option to configure it. In the opening for the shelves, I'm going to change it to manual and then adjust the number of shelves to be one. Using the library, I'm going to browse out to find a closet rod style shelf and I'm going to use the search term. We'll just type in closet pull and then I'm going to go ahead and select the first result for a closet pull to insert into that opening. Now I can adjust this I'm going to take the spacing from previous and I'm going to go ahead and put that at 44 inches. You can see that leaves just over 5 inches at the top. On the bottom of the face item, I'm going to take that. I'm going to change the face item type to be a drawer. And then to create a bank of three drawers, I'm going to go ahead and split that horizontally. And I'll do it one more time. I'm going to take the upper drawer. Let's set that to be eight and a quarter inches. I'll do the exact same thing for the middle drawer. Set that to be eight and a quarter inches. And those are going to be pretty equal in most of the drawers. Before I close the dialog, let's go over to the doors and drawers. I'm going to turn it on to have glass doors. You see the upper doors change to glass. And then we'll go ahead and close that dialog. And now I'm going to slide this over, bump it up to the wall. Using the copy tool in the far bottom menu, I'm going to slide a copy of this over and bump it against the cabinet. To place a couple of closet rods and shelving to the left of the full height cabinets, I'm going to return back into the floor plan view. I'm going to go ahead and use the wall elevation tool. And I'm going to shoot a wall elevation and look directly at this wall. I'm going to begin with the partition tool. You'll find that underneath the cabinet tool. I'm going to click and place the partition. Let's go ahead and double click to open it up. I'm going to set the width, leave that at three quarters of inch. I'm going to set the height to be 99 inches. And then on the depth, I'm going to change it to be 15 inches. Then I'm going to use the automatic elevation dimension tool to place the dimensions. I'm going to use the auto elevation dimensions. I'm going to position this partition exactly. I want to set this to be, as I s click on it, move my mouse over the dimensions. I'm going to go ahead and set this to be 35 and 3 quarters inches. So that's exactly positioned. To place the closet rods, I'm going to open up the library. I'm going to do a search for closet shelf. I'll go ahead and select the variation of this without the hangers. Go ahead and click and place this. And I'll probably go ahead and stretch that over until it bumps into the partition. Double click to open it up. And I'm going to set the first closet rod in here at 46 inches floor to top. You can define it from the finished floor or floor to bottom. I'm going to slide a copy of that up. And we'll just slide it up right in the area of the top of the partition. I want to make sure that these are both 15 inches, so I'm going to go ahead and select both of them. Use the open button. On the sizing panel, I'm going to come in and make sure the depth of those are at 15 inches. Next, I'm going to use the shelf tool. Again, it's underneath the cabinet tools. I'm going to come down, grab the shelf tool, click and place the shelf. I'm going to go ahead and double click, open this up. We'll set the shelf 
width to be at 36 inches, the depth at 15 inches. Again, you see the elevation from finished floor. I'm going to come in and set that at 40 inch, 48 inches floor to top. And I'm just going to simply bump that against the partition. And then to create a series of copies in here, I'm going to use the multiple copy tool. And I'm going to use the multiple copy interval. Let's go ahead and set that. You can see that I have it set at 12 and 3 quarters. That will give me exactly 12 inches in between since that shelf is 3 quarters of an inch. We'll go ahead and pull up a series of shelves in there. And then when I place the next wall cabinet, that will tie into the shelves. Let's next place a base cabinet. As I place the base cabinet, let me double click, open it up. I'm going to configure this cabinet on the general panel. We'll set the width of it to be 36, the height to be 33, and the depth to be 21 inches. On the face item configuration, as I click on the drawer, I'm going to change that to 5 and a quarter inches. On the lower face item, I'm going to change that to be a drawer. And I want to insert a hamper in here. I'm going to actually have two sets of hampers. The easiest way to do it is to put the hamper in the first one. Then I'm going to split the drawer. These hampers are 15 inches wide. That way I can split the hamper drawer and I don't have to browse out to the library twice. While the drawer item is selected on the bottom, I'm going to come down. There is the option for the appliance door drawer specify. Toward the bottom of this dialog, you can come in and go to the pullout. Currently, there is nothing in this drawer box. I'm going to browse out to the library. And as I come down to the manufacturer catalog, I'm specifically going to use one of the manufacturers as I come down here. And I'm going to choose the Revishelf catalog. There is a category specifically for closet. You can also come in if you want to type in the search and enter in the search criteria. It will bring it down. You can see that it's in the Revishelf hamper. And I want to go ahead and select this hamper to insert into that drawer base. As we maybe show the drawer base open, let's go ahead and select the upper one so we can close that up so it's a little easier to see. So I'll change that percent open to be zero. You can see as we rotate around, you can see that that hamper is inserted into there. I believe the specification for that is 15 inches wide. I'm going to take that face item and then I'm going to use the split vertical option. And you can see that it's now created two hampers and now fits the criteria for that particular cabinet. Now the next thing I'm going to do is let's go ahead and pull our dimensions over here. Let's click on the cabinet, set it to be 36 inches. You can see that it's kind of cutting off my drawers. So as I move back over into the floor plan, I'm just going to pull that section back so that we can see that. And then when back in the elevation view, make a copy of that. Let's go ahead and slide it over. And then I'll go ahead and bump it in. And then let's update our dimensions here. We'll slide that up. And one more dimension off to the side. To make room for a shoe shelf on the other side, I'm going to select both of these cabinets come over to the dimension over here. I'm going to zero that out. That will slide both of those cabinets over. And it also trimmed off the countertop overhang. You see the countertop overhang on this side. Once you bump it to another cabinet, that will trim it off. You can also explicitly trim that inside of the base cabinet dialog. Immediately above the base cabinet, I'm going to place a wall cabinet in here for storage. I'm going to put a tie rack in. And then off to the left-hand side, we'll put in a shoe rack. When you use cabinets, you can insert fixtures into them. You can also place them free floating. Currently, I'm using, you see in my search, closet shelf. That's in the accessories number nine catalog. That's a bonus catalog. You can download that catalog from the 3D library. So I cancel out the search and you look at the manufacturer catalog. We've already looked at the Reva shelf. You can also download this catalog as well. And it has a specific category for closet as we put in the hampers in the lower base cabinets. Using the wall cabinet tool, let's go ahead and click and place a wall cabinet. Let's double click and open up the properties of this cabinet. On the general panel, let's go ahead and set the width of this cabinet to be 36 inches, the height at 81 inches, the depth at 15 inches, and then the floor to bottom again. This is from finished floor. Let's go ahead and set that to be 33 inches. That way it will sit directly on top of the base cabinet. On the door and drawer, I'm going to mark that it has glass doors. 
And then on the face item, as I click on it, I'm going to split that horizontally. The upper one, I'm going to set it to be 24 inches. That will match the full height cabinet you see in the background over here. And then on the lower face item, I'm going to have one upper shelf at the top that's a flat shelf. And at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and put in a tie rack. While that face item is still highlighted, I'm going to come down into the shelf category. And manually, I'm going to adjust that to be two shelves. And then for shelf number two, I'm going to come into the drop down. For shelf number two, let's browse out to the library. And I'm going to use a search. And let's go ahead and type in the search and see if we can get close to this. Underneath the manufacturer, we have a shelf for the closet. I'm going to come down and I'm going to grab this tie and pant rack, insert it in there. And while this is still highlighted for shelf number two in the drop down, spacing from previous, I'm going to set that to be something like 24 inches. And then for shelf number one, I'm going to set the spacing to be 12 inches. Now you can see in the preview, I've got equal spacing at the top, plenty of room at the bottom for pants or ties. And as we close that dialog up, let's go ahead and bump that against the shelving unit. And then the next wall cabinet that I place, place that off to the far right hand side over here. Let's double click, open this one up. And on the general panel, let's set the width of this cabinet to be 48 inches, the height of it at 114, the depth of it at 15 inches. Make sure the floor to bottom will zero that out so it's sitting right on the finished floor. And then on the face item, I'm going to actually change that from a door to an opening. And then I'm going to split this. I want the upper half to have wire shelving, the lower half to have shoe shelving. To do that, I'm going to take this face item, I'm going to split it horizontally, maybe remove the separation that is in between the two. And now I can configure each of these openings. Let's begin at the top. I'm going to come in for the shelves, click Specify. I'm going to change this to be four shelves. And then for the library, let's browse out. And I'm going to use the search term in here for wire hanging shelf. You can see where this is. It's actually in the bonus catalog. I'll expand this so it's easy to see. This is in our bonus catalog accessories number nine closet. And I'm going to select that. You can control the spacing if you want to make the adjustment. I'm going to go ahead and accept it as is, equally spaced. And we'll repeat something pretty similar to that for the bottom opening. Come down on the shelving, change it to manual. I'll adjust the shelving to be five shelves. And then out into the library, I'll use the search term for shoe shelf. Let's see exactly where this is located underneath the accessories number nine catalog. Go ahead and select that for the shoe shelf. Then I can close up the dialogs. You can see exactly the way that looks. Back into the 3D overview. As we scroll over here, take a look at the wire shelving. It looks like there's quite a gap between the wire shelves and the shoe shelf. I might go back in here, double click to open up the cabinet. On the upper opening, let's come back into the shelves. I'll just uncheck the equal shelving. And for shelf number four down here, let's switch that to shelf number four. From previous, I'm going to change that to be zero inches. So that pulls that down. You can see the adjustment. It gives us a little bit more room at the top. And then that snugs up this space in between the shoe shelf and the wire shelving. And that's how you can set up the organization for your closet cabinets and configurations. That wraps up this video on closet storage design. To learn more, please see our other videos, our knowledge base, or the built-in help. Thanks for watching.